Michael Jordan is arguably the best player in NBA history. He wasn't always the most talented player though. Today, I want to show you how Michael Jordan came back from getting cut from varsity to a six-time NBA champion. Let's get right into the story. Growing up, Michael Jordan was always a good athlete. He was good at basketball, good at baseball. He was not exceptional at either sport. He was a good athlete who was good at both. Now, when he headed into his sophomore year of high school, he tried out for varsity basketball team. At the time, he was only 5'10". The team already had eight guards, one of which was his brother. So, if you can imagine, the competition to join the team as a guard was extremely difficult. Since he was a small player and he was competing with people older than him and bigger than he was, he was made fun of left and right. People were calling him a peanut. Michael thought he was good enough to make the team, but from the outside looking in, Michael was nothing special to be on that team. After tryouts, he was cut from varsity only to play on JV for that year. At first, he was devastated. He had been competing with his older brother from a young age, and watching him play on that team made him want it even more. Then something amazing happened. Michael took his pain from being cut from varsity and used it as motivation. He decided to work endlessly, so next year he would not get humiliated like he felt he did. A few things changed. Michael started working out harder than he had ever done before. Worked on his shot. He worked on his defense and his game. Not only that, but by the time next year came around, he grew about four to five inches. Now, junior year comes around and Michael made the team. His hard work finally paid off. Not only that, but it paid off dividends on the court. Michael averaged 25 points per game on varsity his junior year, winning many accolades. Now, what can you take from Michael Jordan's story to come back from defeat and pain like he did when he got cut from the team? Firstly, he understood his emotions. He realized that he was feeling severe pain from getting cut. The pain was there to tell him something. He had to do something about his situation, otherwise he would feel like this forever. So he channeled that negative energy he received from his classmates that he received in the form of getting made fun of and embarrassment into positive motivation. It caused him to work harder than he had ever worked before. In fact, Michael, when he was working out or practicing his game, he would get tired and think to himself that he should stop. But then he would close his eyes and see that list in the locker room without his name on it. And that visualization got him to work harder again. He did not give up and he did not quit. That's the thing to take away. Sometimes when you are fighting to overcome a problem in your life, you may lose motivation to get the thing done. You might think you put in enough work. Remind yourself of the pain you felt when you didn't achieve your goal. Was it embarrassment? Was it disgust or sadness? Use that feeling to avoid pain by making you work harder. This way you do not give up. Look, Michael Jordan's story is pretty inspiring and it keeps me humble and working hard to make more videos for you. Check out the video right there to learn from other famous people and their struggles. Remember that no matter what you are facing, you can overcome it by taking action.